Our next guest, very interesting, is Heidi Alexander from the Massachusetts Law Office Management Assistance Program. Boy, that is a marketing name that must have like taken years of product managers to develop. <laughs> it's a mouthful. <laughs> it's we a call it LOMAT for short. LOMAT. So, uh, Heidi, tell us about LOMAT. Sure. So, as you mentioned, LOMAP is the Law Office Management Assistance Program, and we are a project of Lawyers Concerned for Lawyers. And lawyer, so let me just talk about sort of the genesis of the organization. Lawyers Concerned for Lawyers were started in the 70s, and uh, the aim of the organization was to help uh, attorneys dealing with substance abuse issues. And it's since expanded to help attorneys dealing with issues, re- all different sorts of mental health issues, uh, including depression, time management, stress, uh, all, all those sorts of issues. Um, in 2008, they added uh, our program, which is the Law Office Management Assistance Program, LOMAP, and LOMAP provides free and confidential uh, consulting services to attorneys. Uh, So we help attorneys deal with the business side of their practice. So I talk to attorneys who are starting a practice. I talk to attorneys who uh, have existing practices and and are trying to implement best practices. Do the firms contact you about partners with problems? Uh, do the, uh, do the individuals contact you? How does uh, how does this and how do you get paid? There's sort of three <laughs> questions there. Right. Okay. So so how how do our clients contact us or potential clients contact us? Well, for uh, for LOMAP, they hear about us in the community. So they may hear about us when we go to speak at events. So I go and present often with the bar associations, uh, local and national bar associations. So. When a client uh, or pet- potential client hears about LOMAP, is interested in our services, they call us up and we'll schedule an appointment with them. Um, we actually also work with the Board of Bar Overseers, which is the uh, ethics governing body in Massachusetts. We work with the BBO to uh, help attorneys who have been disciplined uh, in their practice. So typically if an attorney has been disciplined or uh, their discipline is not, uh, or or whatever they've done is not so egregious to warrant discipline, they go through a a diversion program. And we will go to the office and we'll audit their practice and help them institute best practices so that they don't get in trouble in the future. Um, so, so we work with two groups of people. We work with those who are mandated to come with us. We also work with those who come to us voluntarily just through marketing. They hear about us. A lot of it's word of mouth, but we do a lot of writing. We do a lot of uh, public speaking. Um, and then your second question, how do I get paid? Um, I do get paid, yes. <laughs> uh, that's, a, that's a good thing. Um, I, so the way it works is that uh, our organization receives money from attorney's license fees. So every attorney, in order to be licensed in the state of Massachusetts, has to pay a fee. And we receive a percentage of that. And that's a mandate from the Supreme Judicial Court. So that's that's how we're funded so we don't we don't fundraise we don't do what a typical nonprofit does to I assume money. there's issues around confidentiality with these lawyers oh yeah do you, absolutely. Do you report back to the firm or is this stay confidential with the lawyer who you're coaching right so it's all confidential all of our services are confidential so everyone I meet with signs a service agreement and uh, and everything is confidential that that we speak about so um, it, it's never reported back to the the BBO the board of bar overseers um, we um, we have a good relationship with them but we're we are a, a separate service